Hey, I'm Red, and today I'm going to show you how to take that dark underwater sound that Solid by YSL featuring Drake has and use it to make better beats of your own. I'll also give you some free loops if you stick to the end. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide if you want to take my advice on this is the final melody I came up using the simple step shown later in this video. If you like the melody, then stick around because I got a bunch of tips for you. And if not, well, maybe you'd be more interested in learning how to make a guitar melody like Whips Key by Snot. Anyways, here's the final melody. Solid's melody has one main element, and that is the underwater-like synths. So let's break them down. For the sound selection on this part, I will be using the Memorium Bell preset on Omnisphere. This beat was made at 127 BPM, by the way. Step 1. Which chord should I use? When it comes to dark beats in this style, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that 9 times out of 10 you're going to be using the harmonic minor scale instead of a regular minor scale. It will help you make darker melodies. So go ahead and add that. Now add one note here on the third note of the scale. Just trust me, now right after that add a note here on the second of the scale. And now this is going to be the base of our chord progression. Now simply add two more notes that sound good to you, I will add this too. This is what we have so far. The reason we started using these two notes is this. There is no step in between these two notes. You can see how there's usually a step in between notes. Using notes that are really close like this ones will help make your melody feel a lot darker. Now to make chords out of that, simply follow the triad rule. Keep in mind that this is not our root note but our third. So instead of adding two notes on top, add one note on top and one note below. To add them, simply skip one note of the scale and add one right after. Skip one note and skip one note. Now to make the whole chord progression seem fuller, simply highlight the top and bottom notes and bring them down an octave. Now we can start adding a top melody. Now for starters, remember that in accented beats we want mostly only consonant skips, which simply means that in 1 and 3 we want our notes usually to be the same notes as the one from our chords. This simply helps the melody sound nicer. So I'll add this note here, they are the same notes from our chords, but on 3, here I won't follow this rule. Instead I will add these notes, they are passing notes, meaning notes that are in key but not a part of our chords. I'm doing this to create a dissonance, which means a sound that is not so pleasant to our ears. This will make our melody feel much darker. Let me give you an example. Here's our melody if we were to follow the accents rule I just told you about. Pretty boring, and here's what we came up with. Much better. Now simply add some extra notes here to make the melody less predictable and done. Now we have the MIDI, but we still need to make this feel dark and wobbly like in solid. So to do that, simply add this effect to your mixer track. First, cut out the high end to give it that underwater effect. Then add some gross beat and use the shifter preset. Set it to zero and increase the attack. This will give you that wobbly effect. <music> Lastly, some reverb and chorus to make it bigger and some halftime and set it to 25% to add some more frequencies to this. And done! That's our main melody. Now all that's left is to add some more layers to make this even darker. The first layer will be this synth one-shot. I will add this MIDI to that, which if you remember is the exact same top melody we had on our bells. Like I said, this part is pretty much just adding layers, no extra melodies. Now add the same mixing techniques I told you about on the bells part and done. I will also add this Vox one-shot at the start of each bar. 
And that's about it for the melody. Now all we need is some simple trap drums for the verse. And some drums for the drop. And done! That's how to make a dark synth melody like Solid by YSL with Drake. Before I play you the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. It's royalty free, so you can use it however you want. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more tips on how to make better melodies, subscribe. And as always, see ya!